known for it. Max Shade Tech, homie. I'm Matt Shadetech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the senior logic instructor for DubSpot and for DubSpot Online. In this video, we're going to continue looking at using machine with logic. In the last video, we looked at using machine in standalone mode as a separate application. In this one, we're going to look at using machine as a plugin loaded inside of logic. Now, I've created a little example track. I'll just play a little piece of it, um, and then we'll get into the tutorial. Alright, so I'm using a couple of ES2 sounds. Um, this gliding saw is produced with the ES2. I've got a little another harmony with the ES2. Uh, this 808 style bass is also an ES2 sound. And actually, if you look on the Dubspot YouTube channel, I did a tutorial on how to make that sound. Um, I got a little vocal sample in there and a couple of things. So, but the drums are coming out of machine running as a plugin inside of Logic. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do in Machine is obviously write your drum pattern, right? And then once you've got that made, you're going to want to bring it out of Machine into Logic. So what we can do is the first thing you want to check is make sure that your pattern drag mode is set to MIDI. Once you've got your pattern drag mode set, you want to check the sound to MIDI batch setup. And you want to make sure that sounds to MIDI notes is selected, the MIDI channel is set to channel one, and the root note is set to C3. And those are actually the default values, so you shouldn't really have to change anything there. And I think the first time you do it, it'll pop it up and ask you, so it should be pretty straightforward. Now, once you've got that set, you wanna just grab your pattern right here and drag it out to your software instrument track that has machine on it. And I'll just solo this real quick. You hear that it's really loud and it's kind of distorting. It's also flanging a little bit. That's because the pattern is playing now both out of machine and out of the arrange page here. So we got the pattern is doubling. So what I recommend is just set the machine to an empty sequence here. I'm just using sequence two. And now you'll have just the MIDI in the arrange page triggering the machine. Now, once you got that set up, you're probably gonna to wanna to send each of these sounds out to its own track so you can apply some effects in Logic. So what you wanna make sure is that your machine plugin is loaded in one of the multi-output modes. I'm using this 8X stereo, 8X mono because I only have eight sounds here. There's nine, but there's one of them I'm not using. And then if you load it as 16 mono, it tries to make some of the sounds double mono, which is just kind of annoying. So I just recommend loading it in stereo. And if you already have a pattern created and you're in, and you're in stereo or mono or any of these, you can change it without messing anything up. You can change the modes here and it won't like lose your pattern or your, or your settings or anything. So don't worry about that. Okay, so you're gonna switch it over to multi-output mode now close machine for a sec. If we jump over to the mixer, 
you'll see that the machine gets this little plus sign on it. And by clicking this plus sign, what you can do is add these auxiliary tracks, right? And these are gonna be the tracks that the machine sounds are gonna come out on. So depending on how many sounds you have, you can just click this a few times and it'll add tracks for you. And now, let's get rid of these real quick. And now what we can do is go back into machine and highlight the sound that we want, go to the out options for that sound. And over here it should be set to group. And what you're gonna do is just click on that and change group to, for example, output two, output three. So what I've, I've done that for each of these, see we've got the kick and output two, clap and output three, this close hat and output four, this chord I'm not using, um, this other kick, the bigger kick and output five, and so on, right? So I've got each one of these going out. I think I've got my ride. Oh, the ride is still in the group track. Let's set that. So we'll send the, this to output six, and this has got my, uh, I've got my open hat, my crash, and my ride all in the same channel. And so now when we play, you'll see that we've got our parts coming back on each of these return tracks here. And we can add, so I've got some sends for some different reverbs, add a little distortion to the cymbals, a little EQing on the, uh, on the hi-hat. I didn't really do like a super mix on this, as you can see, just kind of touched it up a little bit to give it a little, a little bit of flavor. So that's how we get our audio out of machine. Now the next thing you may want to do is sample into machine, which we can do from logic. So let's say I want to sample these, uh, these chords. What we can do is take these chords here and make sure that they're assigned to a bus. So I'm using bus 15. You do that just by clicking on it and then select an unused bus. I'm just using bus 15 because it was empty. If you're not using any buses, you could just use bus one. Okay, then once it's assigned to the bus, we're gonna go back into machine and I'm gonna go to group B just because it's empty. Activate the sampling mode by clicking this button here. And then in the recording settings, we're gonna use an external source, right? Meaning it's a sound coming from outside machine, in this case from Logic. Input will be input one, left and right. Over here, we'll use sync mode so that when we start playing, it'll start recording. And then when we're ready, we're just gonna hit this start button. Now, the way that the audio is getting into machine is through the side chain input up here. So what you wanna do is just go to the side chain menu and just choose the bus that you're sending the thing you wanna to sample to. So I've got bus 15 right here, so I'm gonna choose bus 15. And if we wanna just check to make sure it's working, we could turn on this little monitoring button and we can see that our chords are making it into machine. So I think we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is just hit the start button here. You see it's waiting, it's waiting for the next bar and then just hit the play button in Logic. Okay. And then when you're done, you just hit stop. I just need, this is a two bar loop, so I just stopped it after I got two bars. And now, if we hit our pad, in this case, I'm just using uh, pad one in group B. Now we've got our sample on there. And so that's how you sample into machine using the sidechain input in Logic. So hopefully this will help you with your workflow between machine and Logic. If you wanna learn more about Logic, you can check out the online course that I created for DubSpot at dubspot.com, or you can come and attend classes at our school in Manhattan. And we also offer a new course on machine, which you can take either online or at our school as well. So I hope this has been helpful for you, and thank you very much for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, 
or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.